Hello, welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Long Legacy Challenge. I am excited to really get this series going. I'm really excited to advance this family and their family tree and see what happens down the road as we gather more generations. And right now we're going way too slow for that. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? I just realized... That bed is not going to work for Connor anymore. We need to get him a new bed. We will keep this bed for his little brother. They don't really have a lot of money, but I don't want to give Connor, like, the worst bed either. Yeah, I don't want him to have an uncomfortable bed. Maybe we'll just go with the kid's bed. That might be good. Uh, but what color do we want? Maybe we want to use orange? I don't know. Okay, we can use a little blue and orange. That works. There, that'll be Connor's bed. And then when Alexander is grown, he can use this bed. Connor is getting help from the nanny with his homework. That is so cute. And he finished his first homework assignment, and I didn't even tell him to do it either. He just did it. So that's pretty cool. Mystery mail. While sorting the mail, Grace finds a package marked urgent, but the recipient's name has been smudged out. How will Grace deal with this mystery package? Send a company-wide email asking for help, or wait to see if anyone contacts the mail room looking for their urgent mail? I would send an email? Grace loads up an email with cute pictures of hamsters and sends it to the company's worldwide mailing list within minutes. Oh, um, okay. Looks like Grace just befriended a cerebral sim. Cerebral sims are gifted when it comes to endeavors of the mind. They might enjoy logical pursuits or weekends spent exploring a great book. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Grace likes cerebral sims? I guess so, yeah. Uh, ah, Alexander aged up, but there's too much going on. Okay, he's an infant now. Calm baby? Sure, why not? Oh my god, and he aged up with the nanny instead of with his family. Oh, that's so sad and awkward. Uh, worldwide mailing list. Within minutes, a snarky executive responds with a sarcastic a meme. For the rest of the day, Grace's co-workers refer to her as Hamster Girl. She got a performance loss because why would you put a bunch of hamsters in Milestone Unlocked? Look at that happy face. Alexander smiled for the first time. Socializing with Alexander more will help him learn new ways to communicate. And he is a calm infant. You can go, Nanny. Thanks for taking care of my babies. Apparently, I am a terrible parent because both of my babies aged up without me even noticing. Poor Grace. Grace is exhausted. No, Grace, you can't go to bed. You gotta take care of your kids. I'm sorry. Let's give him a bath. This baby's never had a bath. Hey, I heard you became friends with Ali Chaffet. He's pretty cool. Why are you sleeping? You're not even that low energy. Can you help out around the house a little bit, Kyle? Ooh, if we have him help out around the house enough, this could boost his skills as well. That would be great. Oh no, he broke it. Well, thanks for the help, Connor. First bath milestone unlocked. Apparently, you can't read to infants. That's a little weird. Tell a bedtime story. Grace is too exhausted. She needs to go to bed. Subasa's like, right behind her. She's trying to tell the baby a story so he'll go to sleep, but this is... Oh, it worked. Oh, wow. Okay. I just realized that... My webcam wasn't working. I'm not sure why, but it's there now, so. Assign bed to Connor, and then we're gonna have Subasa uh, put Connor to bed. I thought you could read kids to bed, but apparently not. Only toddlers. So confusing. This way Connor grows up with really good relationships with his parents and everything, and I don't know. Maybe we'll just have Connor be the heir. Just getting started. You've played The Sims 4 for five hours. Well, maybe only in this save, but... And we got an introverted. What a terrible day. Okay. Oh no, the baby is awake. Quark reveal loves wake up time. Nice. See what baby needs. Oh, baby's starving. 
Cork revealed frequently sneezes. Oh no. Grace, wake up. Feed the baby. Thank you. And we don't want a bunch of bottles laying around, so we are breastfeeding. Oh, he's not really tired at all. That kind of stinks for Grace. We can change his outfit. I forgot. I'm gonna go give him some new outfits real quick. Seriously, Grace? Why would you choose to take a bath right now? At least change his diaper first. And I guess we'll do a little tummy time with him since neither one of them are gonna go back to sleep. For a calm baby, he sure does cry a lot. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. Great. And another quark revealed early riser. So, yay to that. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, Connor, please go get some food. I'm sorry. Stop tummy time and play peekaboo or something. I don't think I can change his clothes without a changing table. So whatever he was given, that's what he gets. But it's Saturday, so we don't have to worry about school. I so wish I could change his clothes. Can I click on a mirror and change them? I can, yay. Because no offense, that's a terrible everyday outfit. Let's have him wear... Wait, that's a formal outfit? Oh, no wonder why. I was so confused. This is his everyday outfit. Okay, I thought this was his pajamas. I was so confused. Let's give him some nice, warm, cute pants because it's still winter. We'll make his blue shoes match his sweatshirt. They don't have any. Not really. Okay, that's as close as we're gonna get. For a formal outfit, that's adorable. Here's his jammies. This makes more sense. And this is his party outfit? He just needs a pair of pants. Hot weather outfit. And then this is his cold weather outfit. And that's kind of cute, actually, so I'll stick with that one. <gasps> Maybe we should get him some toys. We'll get him one of these. And how much are the playmats? The playmats actually aren't that much, so we'll get one of those too. I kind of like this froggy design, so we'll go with that. Let's see how these two get along now. Apparently he doesn't want to. Oh, Alexander fell asleep. Okay. No attention left. Well, yeah, I can see how you can feel that way. Let's tell him how much we love him. And try to cheer him up. And you know what? Maybe we'll take him with us to go search for more of my sim trophies. Since it's not only a weekend, but also a holiday. And we'll leave Subasa here to take care of the baby. We'll start a new crest here. I'm not sure how much this neighborhood has. But if Connor is going to be the heir, we need to teach him the ways of the family. So I'm not seeing any dig spots. I see mushrooms. Oh, here's one of these. Oh, the treasure map is working again. Okay. Why is she very angry? From fear of unfulfilled dreams? What is her problem? Well, Connor, come here to the playground. Hope hopefully some kids show up. The stressies. Aww. From strict family dynamic? Oh, that's right. I don't really know how to change that. What'd she get? She got a capsule. Okay. Open it up. Violet. I think that was one of the ones we already had. Yeah. We already had Violet. I don't know if we have her on the shelf anymore, but she wasn't a new one. Let's see if we can get Connor and Grace to play together and change their family dynamic a little bit. Uh, no, Grace isn't having it. Okay, she's really angry about unfulfilled dreams. She has a want to look at the bright side. Is there an option for that? Oh, there is an option. Okay, let's see if that helps her. That helps her, okay. What is Connor's aspiration? Have an activity table and draw two pictures? Shoot, I didn't even think of that. We should also get his aspiration fulfilled. I think we've decided that Connor will be the heir, so we should also fill his aspiration. What did she get? I didn't even see it. She got junk. <laughs> okay. Ali Chaffik? 
thinks Grace Harper is swell and wants to become best friends. Of course, why not? She's got a great reputation. Wonderful. That's actually really nice. She is exhausted. I guess we're just gonna have them go home now. Connor did not like using the public toilet. Oh my god, he's hungry. Tsubasa has been ignoring him the whole time. Oh right, Connor wanted an activity table. That will help with his aspiration. I don't know if I like the idea of it being in the bedroom though. Let's try putting it over here in the corner. This one's 135. We're gonna go with this one. Okay, that helped with his aspiration. Now he needs to become inspired. Is this inspiring? Okay, that's inspiring. So let's go draw a vehicle. Change his diaper. Oh my god, finally, Subasa. Okay, let's put baby to bed now. Is the picture done? It is! Let's hang it up on a wall somewhere. That's so cute. Now would be a good time to get a picture of Connor for the family picture wall. And he's inspired again, so I'm gonna have him go ahead and make another picture. Let's have Subasa encourage Connor. I think that's a, a good father-son interaction. What? He was no longer inspired when he finished that. Dang it. No attention left. I'm feeling sad. Oh, that's right. Connor inherited Grace's gloomy trait, but he does have high confidence, so that's great. I'm gonna move the pictures and the picture walls to walls that are mostly always up. It's 10 p.m. No wonder why Connor is tired. Subasa, you need to go put Connor to bed. Oh, New Year's Eve was kind of bad. Whoops. Milestone unlocked. What's that? Alexander started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Oh, that's the only bad thing is Connor's gonna miss out on all those milestones of being an infant, but that's okay. We have future generations to get that stuff too. Lift head milestone! What's that over there? Alexander just lifted his head for the first time. Nice! He should be rolling over soon. Oh, he's, he's done with this. Okay, okay, okay. Put Alexander to bed then. And I believe it's Sunday, so none of them have to work or go to school. How thought-provoking. Subasa seemed to enjoy that conversation with Connor, especially when they explored more serious thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that Subasa likes deep thoughts? I mean, he might. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna reach level 4 creativity already. That's pretty amazing. Subasa has to be to work in an hour? It's Sunday, though. I thought he had... Oh, he does not have Sunday off. Okay. Okay. I traded the rose with the, um light here because he will not stay inspired over here while he's drawing. I need him to stay inspired to get the aspiration. Connor, can you help out by cleaning up a little bit? Let's see if we can get him inspired. It's not working. He's too confident. Oh my god, Grace put the baby outside for tummy time. Grace, no. Let's have the two brothers interact talk to him. I'd like them to have some kind of a decent relationship. Oh, he reached social level four. Wow, Connor is just really blowing through his, uh, yeah, he's at six for creativity already. He's too confident all the time. Connor, witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend, which builds conflict, conflict resolution, or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards, which builds empathy. I don't know, but I'm gonna step in. That's such a ridiculous choice. 
We need to get a photo of Connor. Milestone, laugh milestone unlocked. I don't think so, game. That baby was not happy. We'll get those up on the wall. And let's take a picture of baby Alexander too. Why not? Wait, where's she going? No, Grace, don't go outside. No, Grace. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Oh my goodness. Can we change his pose? There we go. Okay. Draw animals. Ooh, he's getting better at drawing. He can draw other things now. Nice. Slept through the night milestone. Nice. I'm loving all these milestones that I'm finding for the first time. Connor has a loose tooth. Now what kind of options do we have? Okay. I guess nobody can help Connor pull out his tooth except him. So let's have him wiggle loose tooth. No? What about pull out loose tooth? Oh, it's very uncomfortable. He get he got it. Lost his loose tooth. He can't he can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix missing tooth. What? Elect to fix his missing tooth? That's weird. Fix missing... No. I like that they have to grow back a new tooth. Um, he's uncomfortable though from a tooth yanked. He's helping clean up. That's so sweet. And we gotta remember to put his tooth under the pillow before he goes to bed tonight. Lifestyle lost. He's no longer a close-knit sim. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, Subasa. Another milestone unlocked. The grab a milestone. Nice. Oh shoot, Tsubasa has to work too. Do we call a nanny now or do we wait? Bills. Oh no. I guess we call a nanny now? Yay, Connor met a friend at school. Why is she sad now? Purpose of life? From unfulfilled dreams still, really, Grace? He's kind of sad, but honestly, we should just do his homework first. And he has a school project, and somehow he ended up with a drawing in his inventory. Oh, he drew that at school. Oh, that's cute. First blowout. Ew, Alexander. Uh, if I can find a place to put it. Wait, right here? Ooh, the nanny is dirty. Is that from Alexander's blowout? I would love to see him. Maybe we need to move his picture somewhere else. Maybe they're making him confident? And we want him to be inspired. There, now he's inspired. Maybe it was the paintings that were making him confident. Confident again, of course. Dismiss the nanny so he can go take a shower. Oh, she's got a don't stumble for four hours want from the being clumsy trait. <laughs> he gets really excited about his paintings or his drawings. Connor, you might as well go up and work on your school project. Oh, Grace, come on. You're embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed, Subasa? Sometimes a person can't help but make a fool of themselves in front of their co-workers. Whoops. Oh, it's almost bedtime. That's what I've been waiting for. You can stop working on your project, Connor, and come get some food. I'm gonna have Grace go to bed because the baby is gonna wake up any time now. Have Subasa and Connor. New family dynamic, supportive. Subasa is supportive of Connor. I love that. I'm gonna have Connor put his tooth under the bed and go to sleep now because it's getting late anyways. It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Ooh, I can't wait. This is the first time I've done this, so... Oh, why is Grace up so early? Tense from missing out on dreams. Chat with Clement. Listen to pop music. Okay. I guess I can get you guys a small, cheap radio or something to listen to music on. Will that make you feel better, Grace? Discuss fears. Discuss fears with Subasa, I guess? Maybe that will help her. You lost a practice tooth. Remember to take care of your real one. I like that. You lost a practice tooth. That's adorable. Okay, is there something in his inventory now? There is. It's a molar bear poster. Oh, that's so cute. And I think they got a little bit of money for that as well. That's cute. 
I think with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, don't forget to like and subscribe. All support is appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!